I was a child. I talked like a child. I reasoned like a child. And to be honest, I loved like a child. I can still vividly remember the first time I encountered this force that folds itself into this four-letter word. I was in the fourth grade. You see, and I took the fact that our desk set back to back as a sign on the dotted line of the contract that love had just handed to me. This was a sign that me and her were meant to be. I had, I had always dreamt of letting her know that roses have never been as red as the roses found in your hairband and violets have never been as blue as the school uniform that you make look so good and sugar has never been as sweet to the tongue as conversations with you. I was smitten. I mean, I was, I was totally in love. You know, I loved her more than an episode of Dragon Ball Z on a school holiday. Can I have any brothers who understand how serious this is? <laughs> I loved her more than ice lollies on the summer's day after a rough game of touch rugby. And I was always amazed at how smart she was. It was like underneath the crown of, an af of her afro lay an army of soldiers that prevented every wrong answer from entering. It's like she just knew everything. I remember there was a time when she had asked me for a pencil. That day I stood up and made a vow that when I grow up, I will buy her a thousand million pencils so she can do all the maths that she wanted. This, this was when I was a child. When I became a teenager, I talked like a teenager, I, I reasoned like a teenager, and to be honest, I loved like a teenager. I remember a time that my friends mastered up enough courage for me to approach the one that makes my inners melt. And as I began this journey to her as my destination, I began to ask myself strange questions like, has the sun always been this bright? Why, why is my shirt so tight? Why is my neck so itchy? But I moved forward fearing rejection then i decided i was gonna discard their advice and everything else they said over there i believe i actually exceeded their expectations and i walked right past her because there was no way there was no way i was gonna do that to myself those were the days those were the days when relationships were voted into power by folded ballot papers that read i like you do you like me tick yes or no, those were the times where school desks were boasted with scars that wrote, I heart so and so. And as I grew a bit older, my understanding of love became so and so as I was ushered into a love that was made in this club. If you know what I mean. Please tell me somebody got that. I was ushered into a love that was made in this club. Don't make me sing it now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. I was ushered into a glove that was made in this club. This was a quick fix kind of love, void of excitement and magic. It was in the classrooms of Channel O and Trace that I was taught that she would see me looking at her and she'll already know that I wanted to love her. You see, my acons, I mean my icons and role models just tinted my definition of love. This, this was when I was a teenager. You see, I was taught that I only contact when I contact. You missed it. I was taught that I only contact when eyes contact, curves, body, face, beauty, that type of thing. You see, that type of thing. You see, my peers pressured a heartbeat into this monster I was becoming until love became just a word, a tool, a mere piece in the game that I was playing. And all this happened when I was a teen. Then I became a man, then I did my thing, and then beauty met beast. This was a Walt Disney classic with a twist. Before the beastly self, before the beast in me could raise itself and cling to its savage ways, in came a knight in shining armor, and he slayed this beast with the, word, with the sword of the spirit, which was the word of God. And as this double-edged sword came towards my eyes, it reflected a love that I had only heard about in fairy tales. This was the kind of love that said, I will give it all for you before you even understand that you need all of me. This kind of love was not the same. This kind of love was poured out before my infant tongue was able to say his name. So he slayed this beast and gave rise to a prince charming. And all of this took place when I became a new man. Now I am learning to talk like a new man. I am 
learning to reason like a new man. And to be honest, with the help of God, I'm learning to love like a new man. Thank you.